Ooh, my hair color came out looking so beautiful this time. What are you doing, Mommy? Darling, I'm so happy to see you. Come here, I want to tell you something. Ooh, Mommy, what a lovely color of lipstick you found. Oh yes, isn't it fantastic? It's my new favorite. But the thing I wanted to tell you is that your Auntie Nephora is coming today to visit us. And I want to make sure that you're on your best behavior. You know how it is. Sometimes your auntie can be a bit dramatic. Yes, Mommy, don't worry. I'll let little Pharaoh Babe know as well. Yay, Mommy! Today, I got here on time to watch my favorite cartoons. See, that's the advantage of doing your homework early. I got it. Uh, honey, it's your sister. My dearest sis, it's been so long. I'm so happy to be able to visit you. Oh, where are the most beautiful nieces in all of Egypt? <gasps> Holy pyramids of Giza! You've both gotten so big! Oh, it's so nice to be here with you guys. Yes, I'm so happy you could make it. I'll show you the guest room where you can stay. I'll also show you my room in case you need anything. Then you'll know where I am. Marvelous! This is my room. Oh no, I forgot my phone in the living room. I'll be right back. I won't take long. Ah, my sister's always getting the most beautiful makeup colors. This lipstick is so beautiful. Uh, uh, oops! Everything all right, Nephora? I took the liberty of looking at your things, and I found this beautifully colored lipstick. But look, it's broken. Oh no! What a shame. Well, I found it like that. Maybe it was one of the girls. Kids love playing with their mom's makeup. Pharaoh babe, Pharaoh babe. What is it, mommy? Sweetie, did you break my lipstick? I told you earlier this was my favorite. It wasn't me, mommy. Maybe it was an accident. I won't get mad if you tell me the truth, but it wasn't me, mommy. Well, it certainly wasn't auntie. She just got here. And maybe we should reconsider that play date with Spice. She and her dad do tend to fib a lot, and it seems like it's rubbing off on you. But mommy, honestly, it wasn't me. It wasn't. Family, I'm preparing some exquisite sandwiches. They're almost ready. Oh, good, because I'm literally starving. Come on, my darling niece. Let's go to the living room. I know I interrupted your cartoons when I got here, and I want to make it up to you. Come on, let's watch together. I know I wasn't the one that broke mom's lipstick. Auntie Nephora was the last one that was in there. Why is your dad taking so long with the snacks? I don't know, I'll go check. Ugh, they're taking so long and I'm famished. I'm going to go see for myself. TV was left on and nobody's watching it. That's a waste of electricity. Oops, I'm sure it was one of the girls. You know how it is. Kids always leave the TV on. But, uh, Daddy, it wasn't me. What's going on? Auntie Nephora said that either me or my little sister left the TV on, but it wasn't us. Ugh, Pharaoh babe, let's not start with this again. I'm going to talk with my sister in the kitchen. You stay here with your sister. Daddy, I promise it wasn't me. Auntie Nephora blamed me for breaking mommy's lipstick, and it wasn't me. I'm sure it was her. And I'm sure it was her that left the TV on, too. All right, I believe you. Daddy, don't get mad at Auntie Nephora. I'm sure she means no harm. I'm sure that she just doesn't want to get in trouble, and she finds it really easy to blame my sister and me. Don't worry, I won't. I'll just talk to your mom. Darling. I'm not talking bad about your sister. All I'm saying is that we need to be careful because we already know that she has a history of blaming others for her mistakes. Maybe you're right. I guess I have been a little quick to point the finger at Pharaoh, babe. Little sister, can I talk to you? Sure. Well, you know those things that were happening. Um, it wasn't the girls. It was me. I didn't want to admit to it because it was embarrassing that I'm a guest here and I'm already causing trouble. And, well, I'd like to apologize. Thank you for being honest, Nephora. I think we both owe an apology to Pharaoh, babe. Hi, friends! Stories with Toys and Dolls here. Today, I would like to show you guys this LOL Surprise Color Change Lip Gloss Set. 
And here's the vanity we're going to be using to do the mixings. So let's open it up at once. It has a page with stickers. I'm going to put all the ingredients here that we'll need. We have this citrus flavor to make lip gloss, blueberry flavor, cherry flavor, and cotton candy flavor. Here we have the base of the gloss. Ooh, it's so transparent, I love it. We have five little ball containers, which is where we'll put the lip gloss. And here's our two utensils, which will help us do our job. First step, we put the base of the gloss. I think I'll actually use this spatula. It seems easier. I'll start off with cherry, because it's my favorite flavor. Second step is to put three to five drops of the flavoring. Mmm, I'm smelling the cherry flavor over here. Friends, this smells delicious. And I haven't shown you yet, but the set comes with this super cute carrying case where we can put the lip gloss in and we can take it with us. And that's it for the Diva Cherry Lip Gloss. Next one! For this one, we'll make it Troublemaker Blueberry. One, two, three, four, five. Mix it, mix it, mix it, mix it, mix it. We'll double check and make sure it's the color we want. Ooh, and we're done. Merbaby Citrus is next. One drop, two drop, three drops, four drops, five drops, six. <laughs> Oops, I put one on accident. <laughs> we mix it up, mix it up, mix it up, mix it. It still doesn't look green enough. We'll put a little bit more. Ooh, now it looks green. Now we just have the Bon Bon Cotton Candy flavoring left. Ooh, this one did get the color really well. Friends, good news! We're not done yet because we still have to decorate the containers with stickers. I'll decorate the Bon Bon Cotton Candy one with hearts and the LOL Surprise logo. Since this one is finished, I'll put it away in the vanity drawer. We'll decorate the next one with Neon Cutie. And we'll complement it with some diamonds. For this one, we'll put some glasses on. And a crown. <laughs> it looks like a face. And now a riddle for you. How do you make the number one disappear? Tell me in the comments!